Hello, my name is Vina V and welcome to VIP TV on VIPregnancy.com. Today we're at the Museum of Childhood in the heart of East London. Now the topic of returning to work affects every single mum and is affecting more and more dads. On the show today we are joined by a filmmaker, he's a dad of two and he also happens to be one of our superstar cameramen. We're also joined on the show by Magella. She set up a website that helps women on their return to work. New parents are always going to be in a dilemma when they have their children, they need to go back to work to earn money, but at the same time they don't want to leave home because they don't want to leave their children. So we've got Magella here. Help us. What are we going to do? Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> Well, do you know what? I set up Return to Work Moms about a year ago now to help women, or, or parents, but women were particularly passionate to me because I watch many women struggle with the whole dilemma of being the best parent they can be and the best professional they can be. And there were lots of negative images in the press about working mums and how bad that was for children or childcare, how bad that was for children. And then there was lots of negative stuff about stay-at-home mums. And, and I just felt stop focusing on the negative let's get women some good quality information equip them to think more creatively about the their employment opportunities and go out there with some confidence to secure them and that's I don't pretend to have all the answers but it's about informing and inspiring women about how to combine working and parenthood and uh, we've also got Gavin here who happens to be one of our cameramen you're taking time out to be on VIP TV today now unfortunately you actually lost uh, your job last year didn't you um, so tell us more about your current situation I lost my job um, and I was unemployed for a long time and decided that I, I, if I'm going to do something I've got to do it now I'm going to become a filmmaker and do it full time um, and I got my wife's backing as well um, and I've been at home looking after the kids as well juggling two jobs <laughs> and how is that juggling two jobs how do you manage to juggle obviously your work life and your home life a very, a very understanding wife actually um, oh, she, she's saying, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no she, she's been behind me 100% and she essentially is splitting the time I take for filming um, uh, with her holiday time so she has no holiday time oh. left uh, I look after the, the kids during the daytime uh, she comes back and, and uh, together we look after them in the evening um, it's working out quite well I'm happy now Magella if Gavin like he's freelance now but if he did want to go and start working for a company what's the process where does someone like Gavin start well I mean Gavin you know is kind of pretty switched on um, but when you're job seeking you absolutely have to be very clear about what you want and, and what you're good at and the kind of environment you want to work in as a starting point point. and I know that sounds like a really obvious statement but I work with many women who after having had a career break they're not really clear about what it is they want and and it's very hard to go looking for something when you can't articulate what it is you want and also it's very hard to convince a potential employer or recruiter what you're good at if you're not clear about what it is you're good at and what you want. So that, that's got to be a fundamental starting point is to really understand what your strengths are, what your weaknesses are and what can you offer a potential employer whether that's a working freelance or whether that's working in some kind of paid employment. On the Return to Work Mums website we put lots of different worksheets up there to, so that you're not quite scared by a complete blank sheet of paper if you like but it is very much about you know when I was reflecting back on when you were working what days made you smile and what happened in that day that really made you smile and gave you a sense of enjoyment a sense of achievement and made you want to get up the next day and go back to work because if you can kind of start to build a profile of what you really enjoyed then you can start looking for jobs yeah. that is going to suit now as I say it's not a perfect world we can't we can't have 100% happiness yeah. and there are some compromises but really trying to understand what you want and what are the areas you're prepared to compromise on um, and then you can start maneuvering your way into looking at what employers might suit your needs can we really network to find a job absolutely absolutely Currently in the job market, it is estimated that only 10 to 15% of the available jobs are actually advertised in the usual medium, such as jobs boards, recruitment agencies. 
it is estimated as much as 85 to 90 percent of jobs are being filled through networking wow. and I've seen three candidates over the summer months which typically is quite a quiet period for recruitment all secure jobs that previously they were struggling with but through their networking and really using networking and that means the online networking tools as well as face-to-face -to -face tools to really develop their contact base but what I would like to say about networking Vina, it isn't standing in a room and saying help give me a job I'm great just give me a job please give us it's not networking. networking is about a communication it's about being open and curious it's about being generous and, and giving somebody something that they might be interested in and saying I really would value some of your input. It isn't it isn't a desperate measure where you, you're holding a plaque up, give me a job. That isn't networking. And, and you must find this, Gavin, in terms of what you do. Uh, yeah, um, uh, I, I would look at it as common interests and collaborations. Yeah. Um, and I'd love to say, give me a job. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's more about having the same kind of ideas other people have got. And then something clicks between the barriers and you go, well, let's do something about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and coming back to Twitter, that's Twitter is a great medium for yeah. kind of exploring ideas and common interests. The other one I like is chain of helpfulness, is that you're kind of all helping Each one another, other. and um, and I have seen that work yeah. in, in across a range of professional mm. positions, not just media people, but yeah. all kinds of mums who want to go back to work, whether that's working in schools or, or in the media in HR, across a range of job. Um, and talking about Twitter, that's how me and Magella actually met. We're Twitter friends. So. Yeah. <laughs>